Howdy and welcome back to another episode of Create With Mac. Today we're going to be finishing up our print on demand store. So as you know, in the past few episodes, we've been making some designs and kind of planning out our brand. But in this episode, I'm pretty excited because we're actually gonna be bringing it all together and launching our online store. So I'm really excited to announce the name of the brand. It's 42 Threads. And let me know in the comments if you think you know where that reference comes from. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right in and build our website using a variety of off-the-shelf tools. Here we go. So I'm using Printify as the platform for all my print-on-demand needs. They offer a variety of print providers that you can work with, which means you can have a ton of choices for your products. I've been working with SwiftPod on there, and I really like the quality, and they have a ton of different products you can print on. Uh, the brand I chose is called Bella and Canvas. It's a great brand, and the material feels really good. It's also more sustainable because they use seven times less water than most manufacturers. And it's all high quality and it uses 100% cotton. So to set up a new product on Printify, you would first go to the catalog and select the type of product you want. For example, if you're looking to create a women's t-shirt, uh, you can go to that section. And then my favorite one to use is the Bella and Canvas women's favorite tee. Um, here, I usually pick SwiftPod as a provider, but there's many other options you can choose from. Then you can upload a design directly from your computer and place it on the mock-up of the shirt. Once you have it placed uh, approximately where you want it, you can also pick a new color for the shirt up here. And depending on the product you're printing on, there might be a variety of different color options here. So for some of the color options, you may notice that your design may not work well on that color. In that case, you can actually specify a different uh, design for that specific color. So here I'm gonna specify a new design and then I can upload a different version of the design for this specific color. After tweaking your design and colors, you can save the product and then that'll show you a mock-up of how the shirt will look. I usually keep the product description as is, but then I'll update the title because this is what's going to appear on your store page. I also like to keep the pricing consistent across all the sizes. Uh, by default, they have variable pricing depending on the size you pick, but to change that, you can just click this bulk selection button and then set the prices for all of them. And once you're done with that, you can just click publish and your product will be live on your store. So if you've linked your Printify account up with your WooCommerce store, then the product will automatically populate on your store. So the next thing I did was I registered a domain on DreamHost. DreamHost is the hosting platform I use. They have a great hosting plan for unlimited hosting, which allows you to add as many domains as you want and host them all for one fee. So I registered my domain, 42threads.com. And then I set up the hosting on DreamHost to use WordPress. So I chose a WordPress theme optimized for shopping based on a recommendation from Steve Chu. He's a podcaster who has a podcast all about e-commerce and he recommended this one. So after installing the theme as well as the recommended plugins, I use their default template to get things set up really quickly. You can access the customization for this theme by going to the appearance settings in WordPress and then clicking on customize. So there's a few different areas of this customization interface that are worth mentioning here. There's a lot of little details you can dive into, but on the top level, there's the site identity. This allows you to upload your logo and set the title and tagline for your site. And these are super important because Google displays these in the search results. Now there's also a section to edit the color palette. And if you have a color palette picked out, you can quickly kind of get things looking the way you want through these settings. And Shoptimizer also has a really cool widget system that allows you to insert additional content throughout the website um, using these widgets. And for instance, up at the top, there's this uh, bar that always appears on the site and you can customize how that looks with the widgets. There's also a section dedicated to WooCommerce and 
So in this area, you can style the shop pages and kind of get the look you want for those. So with so many features, it's really easy to get overwhelmed and bogged down by details. But what I found that really helped me was to just make a list of my priorities for the site and kind of one by one address those rather than just go into each page and micromanage it. Now there's a few things that we'll need to set up with the WooCommerce plugin, which is another WordPress plugin that you can easily install. And this is the plugin that allows you to have a shopping cart and accept payments. Setting it up is really straightforward. They have a setup wizard that walks you through the process. I found that the trickier part was setting up shipping. Um, WooCommerce provides a shipping tab where you can manage various shipping zones. And by default, it comes with one shipping zone for the United States. But Printify has their own shipping zones. And while they do have a plugin for WordPress that allows you to automatically use their rates, however, this plugin doesn't allow you to offer free shipping when a customer has an order that's over a certain amount. So this was a crucial feature for me. And so for this reason, I had to set it up manually. To do that, I just went over to the shipping tab in WooCommerce. And then you can see there's the default United States zone here. You can set flat rate shipping on that. And then you can also add free shipping. And you can set up a condition where this free shipping is only offered if an order surpasses a particular amount. I also used a pretty cool um, website called Placeit. Now this allows you to kind of create customized product shots uh, with models wearing them. And so you can kind of go through their database of images and then you can put your own designs on the clothing, which is really cool because I didn't have time to get a bunch of product samples you know, find models to wear them and, you know, do a whole photo shoot. So this kind of gets you up and running really quickly with some pretty solid looking product shots on models and everything. Okay, now that the store is all set up and it's online, all we have to do is make it officially live. Here we go. So 42threads.com is now live and ready to take orders. Feel free to check it out, and if you like any designs and want to buy them, uh, they should be printed and shipped within a week. So I'm super excited that we actually made it to the finish line on this. Now, this is the first uh, phase of this store, and I do intend on growing it over time. I kind of look at this as the MVP, and the designs on there, there's a handful of designs, but I want to add a ton more uh, over time. And I've got a bunch of ideas that maybe on future episodes we will cover uh, some of those designs as well. So just to give you guys a quick recap of the tools I use to build this online store, I'm using Printify for all the print-on-demand uh, needs for the store, and then I'm using um, WordPress and the Shoptimizer theme in order to create the actual website, uh, along with a tool called Placeit.net in order to create the promo shots and product shots that appear on the website. Then I'm using um, WooCommerce as the payment gateway and shopping cart. And all that together creates a really great tool set that allows you to build an online store for a pretty low upfront cost. And that was one of the goals for this project because I didn't want to have to spend a lot of money upfront. I do want quality products and I did uh, test some of the prints out to see what they looked like and make sure it met my quality standards but I didn't want to spend a lot of money up front on tools or monthly subscriptions, that kind of thing. So that's one of the reasons why I didn't go with Shopify because it does have the monthly fee and WooCommerce is totally free uh, as far as monthly costs go. And you can just install it on WordPress, which is also free if you have your own hosting. So all in, I probably spent maybe a hundred bucks on this project. And, you know, over time, I could invest more money into it. But mainly, I want to keep the expenses low so that I can continue to add to it and build it out over time. So I do have some ideas for future designs that I want to include in the store. You might even see RT featured in one or two of those. But uh, for now, I'm really happy with the way it looks. 
And 42 Threads is all about expressing your inner child through fun, eye-catching designs. So definitely check it out. Let me know what you think. Also let me know if you're planning on starting your own print-on-demand e-commerce store. And I'd love to hear all about that. So in the next episodes, we're gonna be making more designs, we're gonna be working on drawings, and hopefully even get into some game development as well. And until next time, stay creative.